<laughs> oh, that's so awesome. So cute. I like them more than they do. Yeah, they have guns. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh. They have guns. <laughs> also to do this because we haven't been able to explain what you're seeing I'll be doing that now you are in the Wellington barracks these are the barracks the soldiers barracks this is where they are staying whilst they do their tour of duty here now these are real soldiers just don't doubt it they're highly trained and it's their career so these soldiers of the Grenadier Guards are now preparing to, to relieve the last guard. Now when we talk about a guard, it's, it's the whole regiment that's going to take on the responsibility of the security and the safety of the Queen and her palaces. So here at St James, at the Tower of London, at, um, in front of Prince um, Charles's house on the mouth, they will, that one regiment which can communicate, they know how they work, they have their structures and orders, uh, of, of authority, they will then take on the responsibility of guarding all these places. But it, it can't be just um, arrive there and start taking on the, the guard. They have to make sure it's done properly and it takes time. It takes half an hour. So the, the regiment is going to prepare themselves now. They're going to muster here in the parade ground. They muster and the, that means the orchestra will come out. And to become a, a member of the orchestra, which may, may well interest you because you're musicians, um, quite frequently in secondary schools, in the grammar schools, in the private schools, at university, grants can be given to students for music, music scholarships to become a, a musician for one of the big regiments. And of course the household are, um, regiments, there are five of them, are the most prestigious to be honest. Nobody's listening because, <laughs> but that is how it is. And they are, they are Scotland, <coughs> Wales, Ireland, those regiments and the Grenadier Guards and the Coldstream Guards and this is the regiment, the Grenadier Guards. And they all have a very similar uniform as you can see. They've got their red jackets on. The officer will be inspecting now, making sure that absolutely every detail is perfect. You know, make sure they're standing correctly and, and their uniform is correct. This is their ceremonial uniform. The soldiers that we saw in their fatigues, that's their normal uniform when they're in Afghanistan or Ireland. So they are preparing. They, the soldiers that are going to be um, guarding the, the palace are getting ready. The orchestra will come out shortly. They'll do the same. They'll play some music for you. Oh, and it's, it's really cool. their choice of music can be the Beatles. It can be um, it can be anything Elvis Presley or classical music. They've got a very broad repertoire. And then they'll, they'll so they'll loosen up. They'll prepare themselves as well because the the marching army accompanying an army is what what keeps the the um, the rhythm and make sure what well, it they play here to whilst the soldiers are getting their orders they will play again in the courtyard in front of Buckingham Palace because the actual marching takes about half an hour and so the having the orchestra playing keeps the soldiers um, almost, it's almost entertained in the meantime they, they are in position they're relieving all the different positions a detachment might be sent to St James's Palace and they will relieve the guard there and come back. So within half an hour, the job should be done. 
and at 12 o'clock, the old regiment then feels safe to leave the, the palaces here, the, the crown jewels and the tower in the hands of the new regiment. And it is a very dangerous time, that moment that the guard changes the guard. In, um, it, it has happened um, that, that the walls, the, uh, this again I shouldn't say too loudly, um, the fences have been scaled by people trying to, to get in. It, uh, there was a demonstration not, not that long ago of um, Fathers for Justice. It, they were demonstrating to get more um, power, more legal rights to, of access to their children after a divorce. So these, the Fathers for Justice were outside Buckingham Palace at the time of the changing of the guard. And one of the fathers jumped over the wall and managed to climb onto Buckingham Palace, climb up onto a balcony. And he was, he was filmed there. It was on all the news. And so it just proves that that moment of a changing of the guard, it really is quite a dangerous time. And it has to be done with great precision and care. And that takes half an hour. And that's what the whole change of the guard is about. What really made it quite funny, this particular incident, the Fathers for Justice, the, the person who scaled the wall was dressed up in a Batman uniform. <laughs> but it, it happened, it happens. So, so that's why this has to be done with such, such um, accuracy. You can imagine how hot they are at the moment as well. Those are real bearskin helmets they're wearing. Oh yes, and um, every year we order about a hundred uh, bearskins <coughs> for, from Canada, so they're Canadian bearskins. There again, you know, we've tried to get something to replace those bearskins, and uh, twenty-five thousand was invested by the Ministry of Defence in developing a synthetic material, and they have wonderful-looking helmets, and they wore them, tried them out. But the problem was when it rained. They absorbed the water like a sponge. And so they had to go back to the drawing board to develop a new synthetic material, which they did. And that was great when it rained. Perfect, you thought. Except when there was a lot of electricity in the air, an electric storm coming up. Unfortunately, the hairs on their helmet all stood up on end. <laughs> so that's why they still have the bare skin. Uh, it, it, they are tough, resilient, they are protective wear. And so there they are preparing, and you'll see the orchestra come out, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, um, it yes. How long are the shifts they do? They do, at the moment it's 24 hours, oh, so that my. regiment, that group of people that you see marching out, will be there for 24 hours. And it's the same thing at Windsor Castle as well, so it'll be the same regiment that takes a, a control there too. And in the winter, it's 48 hours. There are fewer people, it's quieter maybe. Mm -hmm. Any more questions, important things I've probably missed out on? How often? Well, that depends on their tour of duty list, where they're required. And so, uh, I think it 